today I am lifting some weights. Do you know why you lift weights? Well, it makes your muscles stronger, right? That's what helps you get strong physically. That means with your body. There's other ways to get strong. Did you know that? Bet you did. One way that we can get strong is with this book. Do you know what book this is? It's the Bible. And inside of it are all the things that God wants to tell us about. All of those Bible verses we've done this week are in here. All of those stories that I've told you are in here. So many wonderful things. And the Bible can't help my muscles get strong. Well, I guess maybe it could if I did this all the time. But it's to help you get strong in your mind and in your heart. God wants us to know his word so that when we're sad, we can remember his word. Or when we're hurt, we can remember his word. When our feelings are hurt, um, we can remember that. When we're lonely, we can remember that God's always with us because he tells us in here. And we will know that he always loves us because it's in here. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about a man named Paul. Actually, I'm going to tell you two stories about Paul. And Paul actually had a different name. His name was Saul. And when he was Saul, he was not nice to people who followed Jesus. But then Jesus came to him and told him a story and Paul changed his mind and he followed Jesus and he told lots of people about Jesus. In fact, a lot of these verses that are in this Bible, a lot of these books are letters that Paul wrote. How cool is that? We get to read them. Our Bible verse for today actually was written by Paul. Let's take a look at it. This is our coloring sheet for today and you can see it has muscle or hands lifting weights and it says I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Do you know who the him is in this one? That's right it's Jesus or God you can do it either way. I, in some Bibles it says through Christ who gives me strength so that's Jesus but this comes from Philippians 413 and that is in the Bible in a letter that Paul wrote to the Philippians. So I'm going to show you some hand motions with this one. Are you ready? Okay, so first we point to ourselves with our thumbs and we say, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Good job. And that is Philippians 413. And that's a great verse because it helps us to remember that God gives us the strength to do the impossible, right? Because God took Jesus from the dead and brought him back to life with his strength. And God is faithful with his promises, right? He, he kept Noah safe on the ark and he gave Abraham and Sarah a baby when they thought they were way too old. Then yesterday, we learned about power and how Peter and John used the power that God gave them to heal that man, right? Do you remember that? Well, that same power is in all of us and it can make us strong like Paul. And it's in Jesus and that's how he did all of those amazing things. So today, that's what we're going to learn about. We're going to learn about Paul and we're going to learn about the strength that we get from God. Are you guys ready? We're gonna sing some songs. So you sing at your house and I'll sing at my house and we'll meet right back here, okay? you 
moment when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Yeah. 
you a story about Paul, right? Well, I'm going to tell you two stories about Paul. I'm going to tell you one right now and then the other one during craft time. But the one I'm going to tell you right now takes place in a land called Philippi. Now, that sounds like a funny name, but you see this word here right at the bottom? It says Philippians. Philippians are the people that live in Philippi. And so this is the letter that Paul wrote to those people. And that's where he was when this happened. So Paul was with his friend Silas, and Paul loved Jesus, and he went around to tell everyone about Jesus, just like Jesus did, and just like Jesus told him to, and all the other disciples, like Peter and John from the other day. So he's out telling everyone about Jesus, and some people don't like that. You know, some people didn't like it when Jesus did it, right? So he got in trouble. Well, Paul and Silas got in trouble too, and they took them and they put them in a prison. Yikes. I wouldn't want to be there and probably had dirt on the floor and they had to wear chains on their arms and their feet and they were chained to the wall and it probably smelled really bad and there was no lights. They only had maybe a window and oh, it would just be miserable. But Paul and Silas knew that what they were doing might anger people on earth, but it was making Jesus and God happy because they were telling about Jesus. So they weren't too discouraged. They were in that jail. And during the night sometime, they decided that they were gonna sing to God, just like you just did. They sang and sang and sang because they loved God and they were strong in their faith and they knew they were safe. So. I don't know about you, but I don't know if I could be that happy in that situation, but Paul and Silas were. So they were singing and singing and singing, and then guess what happened? An earthquake. So the earth starts to shake and starts to shake and starts to shake it. And then when it stops, the walls have gotten holes in them and the doors fell down and the chains came off and they were freed. They could have just walked right out of that jail but they didn't do that. No way, because that would not be a good person, right? Not good to escape. So the guards come and they're like, oh my gosh, the door's fallen down and the walls are cracked and the prisoners are probably all gone and we're gonna be in big trouble. But Paul and Silas said, hey, hey guys, we're still here. We're right here. We didn't go anywhere, don't worry. You're not gonna be in trouble. And the guard said, why? You could have left, why did you stay here? And they said, because we were supposed to, that we're being honest and faithful and trustworthy. And the guards wanted to know what was so special about Paul and Silas, why they were faithful and trustworthy and they knew what they were doing was right. And so Paul and Silas told the guards, they said, well, we follow Jesus. And they told them all about Jesus and how if you believe in Jesus, you get to go to heaven. And so that's what happened. The guards learned about Jesus and they brought Paul and Silas to their homes and Paul and Cyrus baptized their families and they became believers because they were faithful and strong in their faith that they did. They knew what to do. Isn't that a great story? Paul is so strong. So many things happened to Paul in his lifetime. I mean, he was in a shipwreck once. He's been in jail a bunch of times. He travels all over. I mean, he's got some problems, but he was strong and he knew that God was with him. Let's go over our Bible verse one more time. Are you ready? And we'll do the motions. All right, let's do it. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna do our craft time now and I'll tell you another story about Paul. 
So what you're gonna do is, um, if you have a kit from me, you're gonna need the Ziploc, Ziploc bag with the yellow stuff in it, and you're gonna need the paper that has a, it's mostly empty, but there's a little picture of Paul down at the bottom, or Saul at the time. So you're gonna find that, and you're gonna need some crayons and some glue or tape. And if you are doing this at home and you don't have a pack from me, print off the page with Paul or Saul in the corner. And if you have some yellow scraps at home of paper or yarn or ribbon or whatever, you can get that, or you can just use markers and crayons, okay? So I'm gonna go get my craft stuff and you guys get yours and I'll meet you right back here, okay? Ready, set, go. Wow, that was so fast. I think you beat me this time. So we're going to hear a story, another story about Paul, but this time we're going to learn how he became Paul. Now on your family challenge sheet for today, it kind of tells you this story a little bit along with other things. I hope you guys are doing those at home. There's so fun things on there, but we're going to tell, I'm going to tell you the story about Saul. That's what Paul's name was before. So you're going to have a paper like this and it has Saul in the corner. I went ahead and colored mine and you can color yours too. But Saul was not a nice person. Not at all, not even a little. He was very mean to the people that followed Jesus. He made them go to jail and he had people throw rocks at them. And he just did some pretty terrible things because he did not like it at all. So one day, Saul was walking on the road to a place called Damascus. And while he was on his way, all of a sudden, a bright light from heaven shone down. So in this picture, you kind of see him putting his hands up like, ah! And it's not because there's giant birds or it's not because it's raining, but it's because there's a bright light shining on him from heaven. And that bright light is Jesus. Now, none of his friends could see this happening. And so they were probably like, what is he doing? But Saul heard the voice of Jesus. And it said, Saul, Saul, why are you hurting me? And Saul said, um, I'm not. And Jesus said, yes, you are. When you hurt my friends, you hurt me. And so Jesus made Saul blind, which means he can't see. And he told him that there was going to be this man and he was going to travel to Dam to this Damascus and he would find this man and that man would help him. And he would, then would become a follower of Jesus. He completely changed. And that's why he changed his name to Paul. Because he was like a different person. So we're going to make our paper today. So what we're going to do is see we've got Saul down here in the corner being blinded by the light. And so I'm going to use my yellow scraps. And it's going to be the light. So whatever you have to make, go ahead and get it out. I've got paper and streamer things and ribbons. I'm gonna start with the biggest pieces first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend like the light is coming from this corner towards Paul. So it's gonna go diagonal. So I'm actually just gonna scribble some lines on this page of glue. I don't know if you can see that, but there's my glue scribbles. Cause you don't need a lot of glue. All right, then I'm gonna put down my streamers, my the biggest pieces first, making the sun come to, or the light, not the sun, but, and if it's too big, you just tear it, right? Making the light come to Paul. Now, if I covered up all of my glue, I can just put some more on. <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna add some of this paper that I have. Oh, I guess I only have one piece of paper. And now I'm gonna add some ribbon. What, how, what are you guys doing? Are you adding cool things to yours too? I bet you are adding all of the stuff that I put in that bag and you can put it all on there. And then if you want, get your grown up to take a picture of it and you can show it to me. You can post it on their video page or on our Facebook page. Okay, so that is not sticking. There we go. I'm gonna put a couple more on there just to show you. You guys can put as many on there as you want. But this is the light coming from heaven on to Paul or Saul to make him into Paul. Isn't that cool? I think it's pretty cool. All right. Are you guys ready to sing our superhero song and to say goodbye? 
Maybe not that part. But the superhero song is fun. So I'm going to put my craft stuff away and then we'll sing the song. And I'm going to take the cape off because ugh, it's choking me. So we'll sing our song, okay? I'll be right back. Hasn't this week been super fun? I've had a great time with you and I hope you have had fun with me. I hope that you will keep all of your projects that you've done and you'll remember all of the superpowers that God has. Now, today we're going to sing our superhero song one last time. We're going to say a prayer and we're going to say goodbye. All right? So I hope you're ready to sing because I am. Let me turn it on. Ready to fly? I can fly all around like a superhero and know I'm strong because God loves me. I can march on forward every day and not be afraid because God's with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days a week. I can count on God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days a week. I can count on Jump up and down and fly around. I can always count on God. My God is number one. I can jump up and down and march on the ground. I can always count on God. My God is number one. fly around like a superhero and know I'm strong cause God loves me. I can march on forward every day and not be afraid cause God's with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days a week. I can count on God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days a week. I can count on Jump up and down and fly around. I can always count on God. My God is a number one. I can jump up and down and march on the ground. I can always count on God. My God is a number one. Now, if you like that song, I have put this video on the church YouTube page under the VBS um, watch list, whatever it's called, playlist, and so you can watch that if you want to. Um, I can also link all of our other songs on there too. So just go to the VBS, the Rocky Ridge Church uh, YouTube channel where you're probably watching this. Look for the VBS playlist and you'll find all of the music there as well. All right, today's our last day. This is it. This is goodbye. I hope you had fun. I know it was a little weird you having to be at your house and me being at my house and not being able to see each other and play and have fun, but we had fun learning about God, right? On Monday, we learned that nothing is impossible with God right? God raised Jesus from the dead. Nothing is impossible. And on Tuesday, we learned that God is faithful and he always keeps his promises, right? Because a true superhero is very faithful. Then on Wednesday, we learned that that very spirit that is in God, the power of that spirit that helped him raise Jesus from the dead 
is also inside of us. And we can do amazing things with his power through the Holy Spirit. And today, we learned how to be strong in our faith. So I hope that you had a super time with me this week. And I can't wait to see all the things that you've made. Please post pictures and hashtag it RRCPKids. I can't wait to see it. All right, I'm going to say a prayer and then we're going to say goodbye. Let's talk to God. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this amazing time we've had. And thank you for the opportunity, God, to be able to teach, even if we can't do it in person. I hope, Father, that these lessons that we've learned this week go into our hearts and help us to get stronger in our faith, God. I pray, God, that we can go out into the world like Paul and Peter and John and tell everyone about the amazing power that you have, God. I pray that you'll be with us as we're in our homes. Help to keep us safe from this illness. Help us to, to be calm and enjoy our time together, God. We thank you again for everything that you've done. We thank you for your son and his sacrifice for us, God. We love you so much. Amen. Okay, friends, that's it. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.